Hi, Paper Thinkers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your SuperNote screensaver to help you become your best self. You might be asking, why bother with a screensaver? Well, what we surround ourselves with influences how we think and feel. Having a visual reminder that supports the mindset you want helps set you up for success. It's like having a personal coach on your screen, whether you need calm, creativity, or a boost of motivation. I'll walk you through how to make each one, including this one, so you can create a screensaver that's perfect for you in just a few minutes. We're going to use Figma. It's super easy to get started. Just sign up for a free account and then we'll quickly set up our workspace before jumping into the designs. I'm using Figma's desktop app, but you can also access the program through their web browser. Start by creating a new design file. You can name this draft Screensavers. Next, add a frame to hold your screensaver. Go to the Region Tools and select Frame, or simply press F on your keyboard. Draw the frame. Don't worry about the size because you'll change it in a moment to match SuperNote's specs. You'll want the width to be 1404 and the height to be 1872. This size works for the SuperNote A5X, A6X, and Nomad. Now we're ready to dive into some easy screensaver ideas to inspire you throughout your day. A quick glance at a calming photo on your SuperNote can be the perfect mental reset during a busy day. I love using Unsplash for free high quality images. You can browse their collection or search for something specific. Once you find a photo you like, download it. I'm picking the medium size image because its resolution is higher than what's needed for the SuperNote, so I know that it will look good. And save it to your computer. Drag the photo into the frame. Adjust the photo's positioning until you're happy with how it looks. I think this looks great, but if you want to resize the image, you can just hold down shift and grab a corner to adjust it to keep the image proportional. When positioning the photo, I like to use the photographer's rule of thirds to keep things visually interesting. Having key parts of the photo appear where the grid lines cross makes it more visually appealing. When you like what you see, your screensaver is ready to be exported. Select the frame and then make sure that PNG or JPEG is selected and click export and saving it to your computer. I'll show you how to load it onto your SuperNote and set it as your active screensaver in just a bit. And if you're into paintings, Raw Pixel has some fantastic high res public domain artwork. To search for them, make sure you select Elements and type in Public Domain Paintings. You can have a Monet as your screensaver. Just pick an image size that's bigger than your artboard dimensions. If it's a bit smaller, that's okay. The slightly lower resolution won't be noticeable on the e ink screen. Now you've got your own little oasis of calm to help you stay grounded and ready to handle whatever comes your way. Maybe you've lost touch with the fun side of life while taking on all those adult responsibilities and you want to get back in touch with your playful side. You could set an illustration as your screensaver. Pixabay has great options. Let's say you were interested in an illustration with mountains in it. And if you find an image that you like, click on it and download. This resolution is perfect for the SuperNote. To keep the screensavers organized, I have named the first page Calm, and the second one I'm going to name Playful. Rather than recreating the frame, I'm just gonna copy the frame from Calm and bring it over to Playful. Copy and paste. And since I'm going to be using a different image, I'll just remove that really quickly by deleting it. And I'll rename this Playful. Or just doodle something fun on your super note. Even simple swirls can be really freeing to draw. You can even add your name for a personal touch. And every time you see it, you'll be reminded of those playful feelings and can bring that energy into your day. I'll show you how to set it as your screensaver in just a bit. If you need a boost of motivation, a screensaver with an inspiring quote or a picture of something you're working toward, like a dream trip, can give you just the lift you need to keep going. You already know how to add an image to your frame, so now let's add a quote. Click on the T icon or simply hit T on your keyboard. 
then click on the screen. You'll notice that the cursor is pretty small. You can increase its size by changing the font size. Type in your quote. I found this one online. You can adjust the length by grabbing the edge and moving it until it appears the way you would like. You can adjust the alignment of the text. I like it centered and move it onto your frame. It's a bit hard to see with this white font color, so we can change that to a darker color for contrast. And you can change the font to whatever you like. Personally, I like Munito. And since it's a quote, we can add quotation marks around the text. And it's always nice to provide credit to the author of the quote. This one is actually unknown, but we can still add that. And now I'm going to hold the shift key to select both texts. And I'd like to center this within the artboard. And visually, I think it would look nicer a little bit lower. This red guideline also shows you that the text is centered. And I can adjust this image to complement the quote a little bit more. There we go. And now your screensaver can give you just the boost of energy you need and inspire you to keep working towards your goals. If you want to live with more intention, a word of the year screensaver is a great way to keep it top of mind. Just one word like brave, growth, or focus can guide your decisions and actions, helping you bring more of what you want into your life. This illustration I found on Pixabay has the perfect spot to type or write in your word of the year. You can add the text the same way we did with the quote on the motivational screensaver, or personalize it even more with a handwritten font. I created this font using my own handwriting with a mix of online software and my super note. If you're interested in learning how to do that, let me know and I might make a video about it. Or you can write in your word once the screensaver has been transferred to the super note. I'll show you how to do that soon. Every time you see your word of the year, it can serve as a little reminder of how you want to live. If you want to grow into the person you want to be, you can use affirmations to retrain your thoughts and change how you move through life. When you repeat phrases like, I am calm, even in challenges, or I deserve healthy, fulfilling relationships for 21 to 66 days, you begin to shape your mindset and actions. Saying them in the mirror gives you an extra boost, helping you connect with those beliefs on a deeper level. This screensaver has space for five I am statements, along with tips to help you get the most out of your affirmations. Writing in your affirmations helps you connect with them even more. This screensaver is a little more advanced, but I know you can handle it. Hit T on your keyboard, click on the canvas and type I am. Click on the square icon and select the line tool or simply press L on your keyboard. Then hold down shift to draw a straight line. Adjust the text and line so that they are lined up. To create the other I am statements, we'll duplicate the first one. Select both the text and the line, use Command D to duplicate it, and then drag the box down. The cool thing about this shortcut, it automatically keeps the same spacing between the statements. Repeat this until you have five I am statements. If you'd like a reminder on how to get the most out of your affirmations, you can add these tips below the statements. Add a shape, Round the corners, add your text, If you need inspiration, try asking ChatGPT for affirmations that fit your situation. With this screensaver, you'll have a simple yet powerful tool to become the person you've always wanted to be. If you find yourself getting sidetracked by tasks that seem important but aren't actually your top priorities, keeping your goals in sight can help you stay focused. This screensaver helps you prioritize your goals for the month and break them down into weekly tasks. The beauty of this method is that it ensures every task gets you closer to achieving your goals and you always know what to work on next. 
and the list at the bottom provides inspiration on what you might want to focus on each month. This screensaver may look a bit more advanced, but it uses the same techniques we've covered in the previous screensavers. First, draw a line, label the line, create a rectangle, Around the corners, use Command D to duplicate it. For exact spacing, you can hold down the Option key while dragging the rectangle. Add the heading, a heavier weight so the headings stand out. Add the next heading, duplicate the row three times to cover the rest of the month. Label the rows. Rotate the text 90 degrees. Adjust font size. Add text. and it's ready for export. And with a clear plan, it'll be easy to stay focused and make progress every day. Now, let's load those screensavers onto the Supernote. I recommend creating a subfolder in my style to keep your screensavers organized. I've already created it here. All you have to do is tap the folder icon with a plus sign, type in the name that you want. So you could type in screensavers, and then tap OK to create the folder. Since I've already created it, I'm just going to cancel out of this. I usually transfer files via USB or the Browse and Access feature. Feel free to use whatever method works best for you. Turn on your Wi-Fi if it's not already on. To personalize a screensaver on your Supernote, create or use an existing note. Since your screensavers are saved in the My Style folder, you can select the image as a template. Add your notes. Screenshot the image, rename the file, and move it to your screensavers folder where it will be ready to be set as your screensaver at any time. Now to set your screensaver, go to settings by either swiping down from the top of your device and tapping the gear icon, 
or swiping down on the physical bar and tapping settings here. Then tap on display and input and then screensaver. And now you can see that I have a few screensavers already here. If you want to add another, tap on more and navigate to where you've stored your screensavers and select the one that you want to add. Tap OK. These screensavers are designed to fit your device perfectly, but if you want to adjust how it looks, you can move it around. You can zoom in and zoom out. And you can also fit it to the screen by tapping fit. And when you're happy with how it looks, tap OK. You can have up to six screensavers at any one time. To delete a screensaver, just tap on the trash can. And if you want to change the design, just tap the one that you want and tap OK. The check mark shows that this is a screensaver that's currently active. Which screensaver are you most excited to create? Or is there one you wish I had included? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. I'm thinking about making these screensavers available. If you're interested, just let me know by filling out a quick form. Link in the description. Thanks so much. If you want to support this channel, just hit that like button, subscribe, and tap the bell to get notified of new videos. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.